London is set to unveil its new $5 billion Thames Tideway Tunnel, a super sewer heralded as a monumental engineering feat poised to transform the city's environmental and infrastructure framework. This tunnel is a marvel in every aspect, aimed at addressing London's long-standing sewage issues, spanning 15.5 miles and large enough to fit two double-decker buses side by side. This super sewer rivals the complexity and size of London's iconic buildings and structures. What is exactly the Thames Tideway Tunnel, and how was it designed and constructed? What innovative engineering techniques were employed in its creation, and what impact will it have on London's future? The Thames Tideway Tunnel, commonly known as the Super Sewer, originated as a fix for London's sewage challenges. Designed by Joseph Bazalgette in the 1860s, this sewage system was a response to the severe pollution and stench of the 1858 Great Stink. Initially, it served a population of 4 million perfectly. However, with London's population now around 9 million, a staggering 44 million tons of untreated sewage and rainwater annually end up in the Thames. This results in significant environmental damage and health risks for Londoners. The riverbanks suffer from a foul odor, and the river's fish population faces deoxygenation. Basil Get Tunnel Limited. BTL, also operating as Tideway, is responsible for the financial management, construction, maintenance, and operation of the 15.5-mile tunnel. Supported by investors like Allianz, Amber Infrastructure, Dalmore Capital, and DIFF, BTL oversees this massive project. Construction is managed by joint ventures with contractors announced in February 2015. Costain, Vinci Construction Grants Projects, and Banshee Solentange handle the East London segment, Ferrovial and Lang O'Rourke, in Central London, and BMB in West London. The Thames Tideway Tunnel began construction in 2016, targeting a 2024 completion. However, the COVID-19 pandemic pushed this to early 2025. This delay, while unfortunate, ensures worker safety and project success. It allows for thorough planning and execution, emphasizing health and quality in this vital infrastructure project. Local residents near the construction sites have raised concerns about noise, disturbance, and the loss of public spaces. In response, Thames Water established the Code of Construction Practice, setting standards to minimize construction impacts and addressing key areas like transportation, noise reduction, air and water quality, land protection, waste management, environmental conservation, and historical site preservation. By June 2018, the first concrete segments were in place, and by early 2020, significant progress was made, including primary tunneling, secondary lining, and shaft cover slabs at five sites. Tideway's construction is set to conclude next summer, aiming to be operational by 2024 and fully functional in 2025. It's projected to capture about 95% of the sewage currently flowing into the Thames. Initial cost estimates were around £3.8 billion, with preparatory works costing approximately £1.1 million. COVID-19-related costs added another £233 million, bringing the updated total to £4.3 billion as per the 2021-2022 annual report. Now, let's delve into the design and features of this remarkable super sewer. The Thames Tideway Tunnel, a significant infrastructure project, will measure 24 feet in diameter and extend over 16 miles. Beginning at a depth of about 98 feet in Acton, West London, it will deepen progressively, reaching 230 feet below ground at Abbey Mills in East London and culminating at the Beckton Sewage Treatment Works. This tunnel is engineered to manage 34 of London's most polluted sewer overflows. Initially, it's expected to operate just 3.7% of the time, equivalent to about four days annually. However, this may increase due to factors like climate change and population growth. To mitigate these issues, new regulations require separate drainage systems for streets, parking areas, large roofs, and buildings in new developments, a measure that also offers cost savings for property owners. The tunnel will channel combined sewer water from Stratford to East Ham, ensuring it reaches the Beckton Sewage Treatment Works for processing before being discharged into the Thames estuary. In response to the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosure (TCFD) inquiries about the project's sustainability and environmental impact, Tideway provided a comprehensive reply, quantifying the project's significant social value. They reported on the environmental, social, and governance (ESG) impacts earning a high score of 77 from S&P, a respected financial evaluation authority. Furthermore, 
Tideway established a specific carbon target and has implemented stringent monitoring and reporting procedures to maintain a carbon footprint around 770,000 metric tons of CO2 equivalent. CEO Andy Mitchell reiterates the project's goal to reduce pollution in the Thames, aiming for a healthier future for London. Chair Sir Neville Sims highlights the past year's progress, focusing on the new infrastructure's testing phase and the benefits of their delivery model, which encourages long-term private investment. The environmental benefits are substantial. Currently, London discharges 40 million tons of untreated sewage into the Thames each year. The addition of this new infrastructure not only enhances the original Joseph Bazalgette sewage system, but also extends its lifespan, catering to London's growing population. Tideway has created seven new public spaces above the tunnel, with the first at Putney Embankment already open to the public. The project will significantly reduce litter, odors, improve public health, and decrease the number of fish deaths in polluted waters. During the project, nearly 650 riverside cleanups have been conducted, removing about 100,000 plastic bottles. For every tree cut down during construction, two new trees were planted, resulting in approximately 400 new trees across London's parks. Additionally, three acres of new riverside land will become publicly accessible in central and west London. The project is expected to generate broad benefits, including 4,000 permanent jobs and 100 apprenticeships, with an estimated annual economic benefit of between £7.4 billion and £12.7 billion over approximately 20 years. It will lead to a cleaner Thames River, boosting environmental tourism in the region and supporting the commercial fishing industry. What are your thoughts on the Super Sewer project? Share your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And make sure to click the bell icon for notifications.